We've got something a little bit different today, but do let me know in the comments if you find this useful, obviously like the video and we can do more of this if you find it useful. This is essay preparation. For those of you that do AQA, A-level biology, obviously on paper three, you're gonna get a 25 mark essay. And it's really good practice to start preparing for this, like all the way from year 12, you can actually take each topic and try and just write a paragraph from that topic that could go into a potential essay title. So for example, I'm going to give us this essay title today because we've been learning lots about enzymes recently, right? So the essay title is write an essay on the importance of shapes fitting together in cells and organisms. Now, a lot of these essay titles focus on the importance and obviously they're kept quite open. So you should be able to use content from lots of different parts of the specification and the examiners will expect you to use four or five different aspects of your specification. Now with shapes fitting together, we're going to think about enzymes straight away. So I'm going to give you a couple of paragraphs that you could potentially put in this essay. Now, the first paragraph is kind of just an overview of how enzymes work, which is from module one, biological molecules, when we learn about proteins and enzymes. But obviously, we're going to focus on the fact that it involves shapes fitting together and the importance of that. So let's go. The precise fitting of shapes between molecules is fundamental to the function of cells and organisms. This specificity is exemplified by enzyme substrate interactions, where enzymes possess active sites with a unique tertiary structure that allows only specific substrates to bind, facilitating biochemical reactions. The importance of shapes fitting together is crucial in enzyme activity as enzymes rely on the precise fit between their active sites and the substrate that they act upon. This is often described by the lock and key model where the enzyme's active site, or the lock, has a specific shape that fits only with the correct substrate, or the key, to form the enzyme substrate complex. This specificity ensures that enzymes catalyze only the intended biochemical reaction, contributing to the regulation and efficiency of metabolic pathways. Additionally, and this is kind of A-level content now, the induced fit model suggests that the enzyme can slightly alter the shape of its active site to accommodate the substrate more effectively, becoming complementary to the substrate. Without these shapes fitting together, enzymes would not be able to lower the activation energy of reactions, which would disrupt essential processes such as digestion, respiration and DNA replication. Now you can see what I've done here is I've used my knowledge of enzymes and how they work. I've used key A-level vocab such as active site, tertiary structure and enzyme substrate complex, but I've also tried to link it back to the question and stress the importance of the enzyme and the substrate being complementary or fitting together. Let's look at a second paragraph that we could potentially use in the same essay, but it's from a different part of the specification. So we're focusing on digestion here, digestion of starch, but you could use the example of digestion of protein or digestion of lipids, which is actually from module three. So amylase and maltase are essential enzymes involved in the digestion of starch into alpha glucose, highlighting the importance of shapes fitting together for digestion. Again, I'm trying to link it back to the question. Amylase is produced by the salivary glands and the pancreas, and it catalyzes the initial hydrolysis of starch into maltose by hydrolyzing the glycosidic bonds between the glucose monomers. This occurs in the mouth and in the small intestine. Maltase, which is found in the lining of the small intestine, it's actually a membrane bound um, disaccharidase, specifically catalyzes the hydrolysis of maltose into two alpha glucose molecules by hydrolyzing the glycosidic bond between them. Without these enzymes, the breakdown of starch would not occur efficiently, leaving complex carbohydrates undigested and unavailable for absorption, obviously in the small intestine. This would lead to a lack of glucose, which is a vital source for cellular respiration. With less glucose available for respiration, we would have less energy available for processes that require energy, such as active transport or other processes such as protein synthesis, DNA replication or cell division. Again, what I've tried to do here 
is pick an example from a different part of the specification. So this is from digestion, module three. I've used key A-level vocab. So I'm talking about hydrolysis. I'm talking about glycosidic bonds. And I've broken starch digestion down into its two stages. So initially into maltose and then into alpha glucose. But I've also tried to link it back to the importance of shapes fitting together and what the result would be if those shapes did not fit together which would ultimately be less glucose available for respiration and less energy available for these energy requiring processes. I've just done two paragraphs here today. You would have to write at least three more from three different parts of the specification. So let me know in the comments what other examples you think you could use in an essay all about how shapes fit together.